In this video, I'm going to talk about how jumping genes were discovered. Barbara McClintock was born in 1902 in Hartford, Connecticut, to a family of meager financial means. A research path wasn't really a familiar career path to her family, and it was assumed that she would get married and be a wife and mother, but her father supported her decision to attend the College of Agriculture at Cornell University in 1919. That decision solidified McClintock's path and eventually led to her transformative discovery of transposable elements. So McClintock sought to understand what causes some corn kernels to be mutant yellow instead of the non-mutant purple color. The purple color comes from the synthesis of the purple pigment anthocyanin, and McClintock wondered why some yellow kernels had streaks or spots of purple in them. She hypothesized that the yellow color was caused by a mutation resulting from the insertion of a transposable element of DNA, which she called a dissociator. Cells in a cluster with the insertion expressed yellow, whereas cells expressing purple in an otherwise yellow kernel must have lost that insertion, which restored the expression of the anthocyanin pigment gene. By setting up genetic crosses in corn, McClintock demonstrated that transposable elements, or transposons, consisted of DNA sequences that can move from one position to another in the genome and disrupt gene function. When they jump out of the gene, normal function can be restored. Jumping genes can then leave again and insert elsewhere and disrupt a different gene. That's why they're often referred to as jumping genes. Barbara McClintock won the Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine in 1983 for her discovery of transposons. McClintock's work was the foundation for future work showing that there are many different types of transposable elements in the genome and that they are ubiquitous among organisms.